Hi, this is Nelly, and this is my second recording of Go Brunch, which is free for 500, which is amazing. So let me take you through the process of creating a webinar. Uh, in my last session, I told you about meetings. Meetings do not have recordings, but webinars do. So let me create a webinar so you can see how it works. So you choose one of these, um, you write the event name, so I'm going to call it uh, Nelly's demo okay then a description you don't have to i guess and then you need to add um okay i'm going to write this as a test you need to add one of these um okay, backgrounds or logo for your session i'm going to choose vancouver okay because that's closest to me and then session name so the reason you're writing a session name is because if you go into breakout rooms you're going to have different classrooms so let's call this We'll call this the main class because you might have other classes. Now, recordings notice uh, if you want a recording, you will record the live session. The language, you can choose your language. You can also make it public or private. If you make it private, notice you'll need a key, okay, but we're not going to make it private. And then you decide on the time. So, whatever time you decide, you write that down. And then at you decide whether you want to have breakout sessions and of course this is what's important here record my session so you're going to click on that to make sure if you want to add another presenter um, make my replay video publicly available if you do that it's going to be available on the go brunch um, what they call here and then other presenter okay so you're going to create the event by clicking on create and you're good to go now notice here once you create your session you can have another session that's what i was trying to tell you about if you add another session this will be if you've got your main page this could be session two if you're going to break out into breakout rooms all right so let's continue you can make as many breakout rooms as you wish by going over here okay so that's how you create another session so let's go into my sessions so you can see what's happening it's going to start live in about 13 minutes so let's go there so i called my session there's my vancouver i don't know why they have this i wish i could have my own in other words not use another place but use my own background especially if it says welcome to vancouver convention center and we're definitely not in vancouver all right so i called it testing the features notice what's here you need to get in this you'll see the same thing and uh, I'll be sharing the link with you. But if you create a class, a session, you'll get an email notification that you created a session. When you join one, you'll get notifications if the session hasn't started yet to remind you of it. So let's click on this as you go up and notice that the event will start. And here is the time, 1 p.m. Right now it's uh, 12.48, so it's going to start in 12 minutes. But I can click on it anyway since I created this. Notice it says your step one, click touch on one of the circles to seat yourself. You can do that, but you don't have to. So I, let's put my there. And once you do that, you'll get this, which is an amazing chat box. And if you add any link, you'll see it. So uh, let me add one of my links. Okay. Um, it's uh, okay. Let's add it. It's just a star. And I think that's cute. Okay. So I just want to show you what happens when you add a link. Okay. It's active which i really like you can also make this larger okay by clicking on it or you can move it around what i like about this is that you can move things around i think that's amazing okay so um i can click over here but nothing happens nothing happens but okay so the option of moving things is nice you can also click on the video here all right and then you get the options of turns on the camera okay you can get people to turn on their camera it turns off camera you can also see what's happening uh, with the other participant turns on mic you can hear turn on mic for everyone okay this will turn on the mic for everyone let's go back here to the video and then um, this if you do that it turns it mutes everyone except for you so let's say if i want to mute everyone except for me I'll just, um, let me get back to that. I'll just click on that and that should mute everyone except for me, of course, the presenter. Okay, take a look at the left. Okay, I think you've seen this before in the meetings. Okay, as I said before, the meetings, you cannot 
uh, record the meetings. You have to use another device to record, like Screencast-O-Matic. Okay, so here you set up your video. Would you like to start broadcasting to everyone? This is when you start the meeting. So let's say I want to start the meeting right now, and I want to wait till, well, we've got 10 minutes. So I can click on that, start the meeting. Notice what happens now. I get the camera. I'm going to use my USB camera because I like it more than mine. Okay, so there it is. Hi again. Okay, so there I am. And, and notice I can move myself around, and so can the participants, <laughs> which is really neat. Okay, so you... If I've got a file coming up here, I can. you can also move the file and, and make it larger, and you can also make this larger, I believe. At least I did it before, so you can make it larger. Isn't that uh, both you and the attendees can change the size? So I think that's really neat because it allows you to play around. You don't have to just focus on one thing. You can change things to suit yourself. Okay, so yesterday I was able to uh, get my... Okay, so let's get that small bro it's broadcasting right now, which means that it's recording. Uh, let me get the video off. Okay, I should be able to do that. Okay, notice. All right, so it doesn't want to go off for some reason. Notice I'm on Chrome because on Safari, these things, you can see that the microphone is working. On Safari, it doesn't really work for some reason. I have no idea why. But um, there are many things that don't work on Safari and do work on Chrome. So here, notice here at the left, you can um, get the file up there and participants can also share their files, which is really, really nice. Here you can see the people, okay? You can invite people. Uh, let me go back and close this up. Okay, so files you upload here. Screen share, there's a screen share here. So if you want to screen share, um, you can hear it under screen share you can also upload your powerpoint there uh, let me share the screen so if i want to share the screen um, okay i can add go brunch share to chrome okay so let me do that now add extension so that i can have this available and you can also remove it from chrome okay so definitely it does not work on safari that's obvious all right, so um, let's go back to class and start there. You can see that right now, let me move this around. As I said before, you can move anything around, hopefully this too. So let's share. I don't know what I'm sharing exactly, but notice you can make it larger and smaller, and um, you have control over it. Notice that everything is being shared inside here, which is kind of confusing because I'm not really sharing anything. So uh, let me share this Voki class. Okay, um, I can share Voki because that's the only thing I have available. Okay, so there's Voki. Okay, I've been logged, if you can hear. Isn't that cute? Okay, so what you notice here is um, your screen sharing is here. So you can stop screen sharing, but as soon as you go to the page, it's going to be screen sharing. You'll be able to get this in the recording, because remember, I recorded. Now, if you don't use Voki, I use it with my students. It's not that expensive, so I have the um, teacher version. Highly recommended. You can get a classroom, add your students, and they can do assignments. And you'll be able, they'll be able to share it with you in the classroom. So Voki is really great. So that's a pitch for Voki. Okay, so um, I guess we'll go back to class if we can do that. Um, the only way to come back to class and to stop screen sharing and see everybody in the classroom, uh, which is unlike Zoom, where you can see everybody, it's a lot simpler with this sharing, screen sharing. So we're going to stop screen sharing. All right, so we can go back. All right, so now we're back, and I'm still trying to get rid of my video, which is kind of funny because I can't get rid of it. So let me see if I can turn off camera. No, it still doesn't. I don't know what happened here. But that's interesting. Okay, so now I've got my camera here, and I've, I've got something here. I have no idea what this is. So that's a mystery. So let's see what's happening here. I turned off camera. Let's turn camera back on. Still nothing here, only my name. So I wonder if this was the screen sharing screen. That's something to explore. Uh, let's see what that is. 
All right, so let's go back to screen sharing and see if something comes in this box. Maybe the PowerPoint that I bring up. Okay. If it's any file, if it has to be. All right, so it's um, it says file extension is not allowed. Let's try it. Oh, if you can see this, but I got another PowerPoint coming up. It's um, it's quite heavy, maybe because it's taking longer than I would imagine. Okay, so let's see what happens over here. I have no idea what this is. It has my name on it. Okay, so um, I don't see the PowerPoint. Maybe it's still coming up. Let's check. Nope, yeah, it's still coming up. Hasn't come up yet, so we'll wait for that to happen. Okay, so I see the PowerPoint is really taking a long time. See, it's still coming up there. So maybe you might want to do this in advance before your class actually starts. And I think my class is starting in two minutes. Recording starts. Okay, so the recording has not started. That's interesting. So it's only going to start in two minutes. Okay, so whenever you set it up, so you can't start the recording beforehand, it's time. So we have one minute and 32 seconds. And I see the PowerPoint is up. So let's see what we can do with that screen please turn off your screen and share slide okay so you can't do both at the same time so let's see you are already sharing screen how do I, okay i don't see that i'm sharing screen so that's that's not true i'm not sharing a screen but apparently it thinks that i am so let me share screen and then unshare in case i'm sharing the screen oh i guess um maybe that's why it's turned on Okay, that's what I wanted to share with you. So let's try the PowerPoint. Oh, you are already sharing the screen. Please turn off. Your... Okay, so there's a problem here because I'm obviously not sharing my screen. So, um, oh, I guess this is my screen. Okay, it's black. There's nothing there. All right, so, and we can't get rid of it. I tried before. Um, maybe I can make it smaller. No, that's not going to work. So I can't get the screen off for some reason. I can take it away. Can't get the screen off. Can't get my video off. This must be an Apple thing. FaceTime. Um, all right. So maybe I can double. Okay. So it's not working. I can't stop the screen sharing for some reason. Let me see if I can. Okay. I got rid of my. Okay. Great. So this is how you get rid of your, your, um, uh, webcam it's over here so now we know that okay that's where it is and uh let's see screen share maybe i need to just close this maybe that'll work uh let's um close it okay there so you click on it and it goes away great now i can so that black thing was the screen being shared okay so now you've got your uh, powerpoint notice that you can go through the slides love the way you go through the slides it's taking forever i think there may be some connectivity issues when there are a lot of people i can't imagine 500 people without connectivity the idea of course is to refresh the page so it says st recording starts in 0000, 000 000 000. so i wonder what it's going to start so the powerpoint is ready you can make it as large as you want and you can go through it what we have in our baggage this was a powerpoint shown um in um co 20 connecting online for 2020. all right so we're not going to go through that but it says the recording starts and i think it's on the hour it's actually zero one it's 101 and it says the recording starts so the recording has not started all right so there are some um i guess okay i got rid of that um and the recording has not started so it just says it starts but it hasn't started so i wonder why and what i can do to get it started okay so this is something that i have to report to support it says the recording will start and it has not started and it's um 1301 it's 101 it's supposed to start at one so now we will get this recorded which is unfortunate let's see what else we can do we've got a mic um i don't know am i oh I, the mic stopped okay click on it again okay so now the mic is working so when it's yellow it's broadcasting so maybe recording starts means that it's already recording 
let's see okay i stopped the recording so let's try again okay so now it's recording so if it says recording starts in you need to um stop broadcasting and then rebroadcast again and then you see the recording button fascinating so you got to keep this in mind okay great all right so let me get my now i know how to get rid of my video i know how to mute myself and i know how to start and stop the recording so there i stopped it and i'm going to start it but when i do that the camera comes up again and then i can quit for the camera and continue the recording and then if i've got my powerpoint you should have it in advance i can open it and there it is and i can make, make it larger as large as i want and i think the participants even if i make it larger participants will be able to also manipulate it and get it going so this has been great so now i'm going to stop the broadcasting and um, and that's it how do i end the class i have no idea but it stopped broadcasting i can make it broadcast again all right but i still don't know how to stop the recording i wonder if it only stops um i asked this to go on for 45 minutes so will i have to go on is there the ability to extend if i stop broadcasting will the recording start taking place i have no idea these are questions that i'm looking to have them answered and i will let you know as soon as i know so right now i'm going to stop broadcasting hopefully that'll stop the recording and i can leave the class but i don't see where i leave either except for here i'm going to log out hopefully something was recorded and i'll be able to there sign out um are you sure you want to leave well i don't know if if, if i leave will it stop recording great question here we go there i'm gone Thank you for watching.